Hey, this is Diesel. Just wanted to say hope you enjoy the show. But first, I gotta warn you. We don't know any of you, the listener, or your families personally. So if we, or I, say anything to offend your race, creed, color, religion, or any other shit I forgot, I'm just gonna say sorry. That you can't take a joke. Oh yeah, I forgot the gays. I don't hate you guys either. So not if, but when we, or I, say something you don't like, just join little Joe on his fishing trip and move on. Enjoy the show. <laughs> oh yeah, one more thing. We're by no means professionals or have ever claimed to be. Trust me, you'll learn that as the show goes on. We're just four guys with four mics and time to kill, so enjoy the show. Yeah, little Joe Ho. Oh boy. Yeah. Don't ask, don't tell, buddy. Yep. <laughs> don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> I got my own rock band. Nobody, Nobody cares. cares. I got a million plus fans. Nobody, Nobody cares. cares. Yo, I can rock the mic. Joe, Joe don't, don't care. care. I got a song you might like. No. Joe's a queer. Hey, yo, it's tiny. Doubling up on my functions. Cause Lil Joe's pro boner with O Square Productions. It's JJD's and I'm kinda wishing that the motherfucker Joe would just quit fishing. Hi, I'm Shorty and Lil Joe ain't here. So I guess we lost our only queer. Finally, there's a show with no poker tips. Cause Joe's gone fishing in his broke down whip. Yo, I'm hot for real. <laughs> Nobody, Nobody cares. cares. I want a record deal. Nobody, Nobody cares. cares. I play a mean guitar. Oh, Nobody, Nobody cares. cares. Joe needs a brand new car. Oh boy. Oh man. This is gonna be a great show, I can tell already. Woohoo! We got the heat. We got the heat. Yes, we do. Cause uh, it's just gonna be the four of us today while Joe's out there baiting with his little worm. Yep. His very little worm. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that ain't much bait, buddy. That ain't much bait. <laughs> Hope you catch something. Yeah. Uh, Anyways, uh, welcome to the Nobody Cares Show. As usual, it's uh, me and my close friends here uh, sitting around a table talking to you about music and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, let me introduce who we, who we got on the show for you today. Uh, first of all, of course, there's Tiny, a.k.a. Little Homie. What's up? JJ Diesel is definitely in the spot. What is up? And today, filling in for Little Joe, we have... One of my favorite ladies. Yes. Shout is in the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, love the energy. That is love her. Love the energy. That is her way of saying hello. <laughs> I like it. Yes. All right. Uh, so if you don't know, what we do here on the Nobody Care Show is we have artists send us their music and their bios, and uh, we listen to their music, and then we critique it. Now, after we're done critiquing and we rate it, lowest rating is if it was – oh, sorry. I would never listen to it again. See, I'm missing my own rating system. It's all right. We, it's we need to stop. We need to quit it with these early morning shows, dude. Well, hey, we got to <laughs> give the fans what they want. They want more this Nobody Cares show. That's what they want. All right. So uh, lowest rating is I would never listen to it again on purpose. The next is if it was on the radio, I wouldn't change the station. Third rating is it's LimeWireable. One of our high ratings is I would buy the single off of iTunes. And, of course, our best rating is I would buy the whole album. All right. So, uh. Let's go ahead and get started with the show and turn the time over to Tiny. All right. Uh, real quick before we get into the music, a couple shout outs. Shout out! <laughs> <laughs> we have, uh, we have, uh, we had a few responses on our Snap Vine and. All right. They listened. Yes. Yeah. Here, here's one. Here's one for, for you guys to listen to. You guys are so funny and I love you. This is Tiana. You guys crack me up. Um, hope all's good. Miss you guys. Call me. Uh, thanks for the shout out. And much love. Bye. Yeah. Deanna's such a sweetheart. We Look miss you her. too, Deanna. We miss her too. Yeah, for real. So, Main uh, motherfucking Tane. I miss her and I never even met her. <laughs> oh, that's right. I keep forgetting Shorty that. Shorty met her. Ha ha. Oh, yeah, man. I forgot that's right. You haven't. Yeah, and then I just wanted to shout out Jesse, who also uh, left us a comment. Jesse, my brother, thanks for feeling my pain. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, well, what happened there? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I I sent him I sent him a little uh, a little uh snippet of our show. Uh huh. And he was feeling, you know, he. Oh, is that the E Honey Ham? Uh, that's right. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Jesse, you the man. And then also Marcel. Hey, I, I just want to say I hope Jesse finds his one. Yeah. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah. All right, Jesse. 
All right. And so just a couple shots. And then Marcel. Marcel, what's up, dog? Yep. All right, Marcel. All right. Okay. Now that uh, that's out of the way, let's do this. Number one, this group is called Broadside. They do alternative core, alt core instead of hardcore. Okay. I don't know what that means. Is that like means, hardcore alternative? It's like all, yeah, alternative hardcore. It's alternative with the core. core. A-L-T dash C-O-R. I'm curious to know how many uh, genres there are. And, well, you know, yeah, people are just... There's people, subgenres. There's like... Yeah, because... I uh, think a lot of people just make up their own Yeah, because C. Blunt, they put their genre as chill hop. You know, but you know what? Like, he can call his shit whatever, whatever he, he wants. wants. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And so, yeah. and so like, they are C. Blunt. Well, yeah. you, you know what else? I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, go ahead. Um, I like I've said this before. I actually like not really 100 percent knowing what the genre is because then I'm, you know what I mean. Like I'm not expecting a certain yeah. thing. I just, you know what I mean. Just let me hear it. So I love right. it. Uh, yeah, and this band is from Russia. Oh, oh wow! From the city of Yaroslav. Okay, we probably butchered <laughs> that, but that's okay. We can say it in the Drago accent. Yaroslav. Thank group, you, Drago. Group Broadside. <laughs> Thank I you, mean, Drago. Group Broadside <laughs> has 10-year-old experience of wow. concert performances. <laughs> oh. yeah. Creativity was affected a lot by different music from Grieg, Mozart, <laughs> Beethoven, Gershwin, They're gonna to hate us. Is it Dizzy, Deep Purple, <laughs> if Metallica, we have a- <laughs> to Green Day, Gord, Limp Bizkit, Guano Apes, R H C P S O A D. The group has written down four albums. Uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Rocky. You better watch out. KGB is <laughs> going to be on Tiny's ass. Is that, is uh, that your Rocky? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, look at this. Uh, all right. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I think I, I'm gonna get you after after the show. Huh? Yes, <laughs> That's probably the worst. Rocky. He's just like, if you could change, uh, uh, if I could change, we could change, we could change. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh yeah. Okay. You guys crazy? <laughs> uh, thank you, Shorty. Very very much crazy. <laughs> I squash you. <laughs> I will squash you. Yeah. Um, the song we're listening to. Is called Without You by Broadside uh, from Russia.
broadside with without you um, or however you say that in Russian uh, and if you want to check out more of their stuff you can go to their website uh, broadside dot n-a-r-o-d narod dot r-u or you check them out at their myspace myspace.com slash broadside group um, you can check them out at metal-radio.ru slash broadside or you can email them at broadside2007 at yandex.ru uh, yandex is spelled y-a-n-d-e-x mm. alright let's do it alright well uh, I guess I'm taking a little Joe's spot right here <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, hey you know what though when, when I right here when I heard it was from Russia I don't know if you guys have uh, have seen what is that that movie? Um, shit, Rocky Four. Yes. No, no. Where where <laughs> where, where the, uh, there's that that Russian guy that sang Berserker with Jane Silent Bob. Oh no. Oh. Oh yes, yes, yes. Um, I can't remember. Oh, it was with Dante, and he's like, "I'm not even supposed to be here today." Um, yeah. What is his dude? And he, <laughs> but except he sang in Russian, like in Russian. And, and and like Jay would, would have their boombox and they play it and he's all Berserker. Oh, you won't do that. No, the Berserker. No, that's what I was thinking. I was, uh, that's what I was expecting to hear. <laughs> Just because, not because that's what they led me to believe, but <laughs> that's yeah. the only Russian rock I've ever heard. So. <laughs> but anyway, I guess we'll uh, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, let you guys know what we think. Uh, Tiny, what do you think about it? Um, uh, you guys came out swinging. I like the instrumentation. Uh. You know the band, I think was good. I think the the only problem I had with the band was uh, the lead singer. Her levels were a little bit low, and yeah. every once in a while she uh, she kind of went off pitch a little bit. Uh, but I like the sound. I like the way her voice sounds. Like I like the tone <laughs> of her voice and everything. And um, and and uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, let's see. I know that not all Russians can sing bad because, uh, let's see, who is it? The Renetki. Renetki, they sing a song called Oteve, and that song is pretty tough, and they have, like, nice harmonies and stuff. I thought I thought Russians only, like, played hockey and did ice skating. No. Check out these girls. It's an all-girl band. They are bad. Nice. The Renetki girls. Are they the Pussycat Dolls of Russia? Well, they're like a band. They all play instruments and crap. Oh, so they're actually talented. Yeah, they're nice. Good. And the lead singer is the drummer. What? That's dope. Yeah. How happy does that make you? <laughs> a lot. I know. <laughs> uh, yeah. And so uh, I say good job uh, as a band. Uh, the lead singer, I am i don't want to throw you under the bus, but maybe uh, just get like a vocal coach or something. Mm. And then when you guys go into the studio, I thought the rest of the band sounded fine, but just make sure the, the, the lead singer's vocals are up and maybe try to do some more um, with the arrangement. For the lead vocals, and that's it. All right, uh, Jekylls. Um, yeah, I thought you guys were great. Um, your musicianship was on point. Uh, the drummer was great. I love that beat. That backbeat was really nice the entire time. Um, I really like the uh, guitarist and the bass player. I thought you guys sounded phenomenal. I'm gonna agree with Tiny though. I thought the vocals were very low for the recording on on the lead singer. Um, and the thing is, I like your voice. I think you have a great voice for this kind of music. I really wanted to be able to hear it more clearly. It didn't even bother me that it was in another language. You know what I mean? Um, I think you guys have a unique sound, and it's actually a sound that would be popular over here in America also. And there have been foreign hits here in America that were done in another language before. It wouldn't be the first time that there would be yeah, a hit. Like the, the Macarena. Macarena. Yep. <laughs> Macarena. Oh, Macarena, La Bamba, um, the German version of uh, 99 Red Balloons. You know, there, there's there's been quite a few, quite uh, a few songs back in the days. I don't know if I, <coughs> I know the Macarena and La Bamba. Y- you know the '99 Red Balloon song, though. '99 Red Balloon. Exactly that one. Oh, maybe maybe it was French. Zole me sa kula se. He's just making it up now. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> I believed him for a second though. I believed him. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, maybe it was in French. Man, maybe it was in French. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but honestly, uh, I think you guys could have a great sound, you know. And usually, I complain when there's a person yelling in the background, but I thought that fit very well on the hook, mm-hmm. where he was just kind of the undertone of her voice in the background yelling. I thought it gave it a good, uh, 
a good sound. Like yeah. this song kind of gets me pumped. It gets me amped. Like I want to go work out to this song right now. Like it's it's a good song. Yep. yep. All right, I guess I'll go. Um, I guess I'm going to echo 100% of the things you guys said. I mean, I just, you know, put down that I was immediately feeling it. Yep. Um, very, very easy song to get into. Right. Um, yeah, and like I, I, same thing, hard to hear the singer. Um, did like the voice, though, a lot. Like, like you guys, uh, music was phenomenal. And the background, whatever that was, like I dug it. And, yeah, just pretty much everything you guys said is everything that I had. So, Shorty. Okay, uh, same thing with me. Uh, I really liked the beat. It was real catchy. Uh, the vocals need to be a little bit stronger, but I noticed some tambourines. I really like that. Mm. Okay. Nice. Oh, my. Yeah, you hear, you hear really good stuff. I, yeah, you hear all kinds of stuff in the back. Man, it's amazing. Is, is that what else? Yes, I, I, like I said, it's really, it was really awesome. Good beat. Nice, yeah, nice. Caught me, caught me moving. Yeah. Got you moving. Yeah, yeah, got me moving. Yeah, if you feel something, it doesn't matter what. If you feel something, you got to give it some kind of credit. And oh, yeah. definitely. It just, it, yeah, my feet were going. I'm feet, ready. Your feet were my going. My feet were going. The nice. feet were moving. My, <laughs> my feet were moving. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Got his footwork. Back. Yeah. Uh, uh, Chidi, what, uh, what would you vote it as? Uh, iTunes iTunes, nice. I like them that much. And Jekyll's? I'm definitely iTuning the single also. I'm buying the single. Jeez, I just feel like the biggest fucking copycat in the world right now. I was going to iTune it. I should have went first. Fuck. <laughs> uh, iTune. iTune. Wow. Oh, Holy moly. Well, I mean... <gasps> Wait. Yeah, I didn't even have to say it. You guys have a song that is iTunable. People would buy this single on iTunes. So that is phenomenal. That That's is a very solid, solid rating. Yeah, and I tell you, you fix you fix the vocals, raise the levels a little bit. I'm buying that album. And I'm yep. buying that album. Did yep. I? Yeah. You guys have a really great sound. It, I mean, like I said, um, it's unique in its own way. And also, it's relative to what's being played out here in America also today. So, I mean... Do what you guys can to get out here too and get some airplay, man. You guys are dope. Yes, sir. Definitely. So yeah, I guess I don't gotta go to you and uh, ask what the rating is. No, <laughs> I think we know what that is. When when you hit the who we, it was all over. Even Joe could figure that one out. Yeah. All right. Exactly. And uh, now is my favorite part of the show. And uh, you know what? I guess um, I just want to take over the show. <laughs> go, go ahead. I was gonna give you your intro, but you know what? No, you know I don't mind your intro. You you, you, you should do it. You should do it. I want to hear how it sounds. I mean, you do it, especially <laughs> with the porn stash, you know. Yeah, yeah, still rocking the porn stash. So, so yeah, go ahead, yeah. so go ahead and do that, JJ. All right, uh, now it's time for a little bit of a JJ Diesel's JJ Jibba Jabba. Wow. Nice. Ooh. Little Joe and O squared sitting in a tree. I thought I was gonna get silence. I really thought. <laughs> No. You thought no. he was alone, but they went fishing. Jeez, oh. I, re I really thought I was going to get silence. I was really hoping for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just have this image that those two are together doing Brokeback Pond or something yeah, like they, that. Uh, they, okay. <laughs> Brokeback Tahoe. Bro Brokeback Tahoe. Tahoe. <laughs> <laughs> the sequel to Gay Fisherman. <laughs> it's a two-dude rendezvous. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Since, uh, uh, since, since Joe ain't here... I'll talk a little bit about food, <laughs> I, I, except um, these are little little snacks. The first thing is a good snack if you don't really have much money. Um, you know, raid, raid your uh, your pantry, and uh, I don't think me and Tony have talked about this. A good snack is just put a can of peaches, pineapples, or pears in the fridge, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you have fruit, and then you drink the juice afterwards. There you oh, go, yeah. sir. And uh, I like to actually eat olives out of the can for a snack. Oh, yeah. I don't really drink the juice. Green or Green or black. Oh no no um black. There you go. Green is only in a martini. Um and uh I was like I like to make cheese bread. Mm. I got you know bread with cheese on it and melt it on there. <laughs> hey, that's pretty creative. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, without the mold. Oh yeah, I have a, <laughs> That's that's very really funny. Keep so it I, real shoddy. So any yeah, I have shit in my fridge that's probably I don't know. Walk out. Yeah, it walks itself to the trash. But anyway, um, make sure you always have tortillas, because yeah, I oh yeah I eat quesadillas like all the fucking time. I think it's almost it's almost like the Mexican person sandwich, like white people make sandwiches yeah. and Mexican people make quesadillas. Yeah. So and you know what else I like to do with a little snack? Get a spoon, get a jar of peanut butter, boom, snack. 
Yeah, oh, buddy. Yeah. I'm with you on that one. Thank you. I love I love that. I, I love, love that. peanut butter. I, yeah, I need to have something on my peanut butter or something <laughs> no. with it. I yeah, a spoon. Celery. A yeah, spoon. spoon celery. is fine with me. A spoon is fine celery. with me. Yeah. Celery is cool. No, I, l- cool. I love celery, but I didn't have any celery. So a couple nights ago, I just got a fat ass spoon. Well, lobbed it up. Licking it oh, up. Yeah, oh, it was yeah. delicious. And so then much. um, there's a, uh, I don't know, actually, maybe shorter remember this, like probably like 20 years ago, 25 hey. years ago. <laughs> That's your beat. <laughs> like uh, 20, 25 years ago, we got, um, I don't know if you remember, we got two big shoe boxes of full of gummy bears. Somebody gave them to us, and we had them on our fridge. And I love gummy bears, and I would go and eat them for snacks. But I think that there were male and female gummy bears in there because they were reproducing. Like, we, <laughs> dude, we never finished a box. We never finished one box. I'm like, gummy bears, yeah, you're going to be gone next week. Try next year. Oh, man. Dude, before you know it, it was just one big gummy bear, and we had to throw it away. Dude, it was... <laughs> wow. Yeah, they all got, like, hard and stuck it's together. Multicolored. Yeah, it was like an orgy of gummy bears. <laughs> I'm surprised I still like gummy bears, because I didn't eat them for a long time after that. Oh, man. But, um, you know what else I found out? This doesn't... This is dumb, but somebody told me, because I, I love pistachio... Pistachio nut ice cream. It's my favorite ice cream. There's nothing wrong with that. Well... When I would go to 31 Flavors, I would usually get like a little cappuccino drink or whatever. I don't usually get the cones or the sundaes or nothing like that. And uh, the person that I was with, I was like, man, I wish I could have a pistachio nut shake. And she was all, so then order one. And I was like, but it's not on the menu. She's (laughs) like, let me think. Um, You're at an ice cream place and they have ice cream and milk. I'm pretty sure you can order one. I was all, really? So I went, I was like, hey man, can I get a pistachio nut shake? He's all, sure. And I was all, what other shakes can you get? (laughs) And then he was like, whatever ice cream we got. And I was like, oh, I'm so dumb. I was like, I just thought it was like a, I just thought that was so amazing. I barely found that out. (laughs) Or you can go get the Bobas, which little Joe, which little Joe called it a Mocha Bubba. (laughs) I was talking about, I was like, when I was talking about the, the Mocha Boba story, he's all, Mocha Bubba. And I was like, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> or Bubba. or you can you can try to have, as Joe would call it, a Yahoo, which is actually a Yoohoo. <laughs> oh no no. No, he eats that. Tada. Oh yeah, he called that that Asian restaurant Tadai. Okay. He's all Tada. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. <laughs> yeah. He, he's a one of a kind. He had a bubba at Tudai. Mocha bubba at ta da. With Yahoo! Do you guys have any Yahoo? <laughs> I can't believe he calls Yahoo Yahoo. <laughs> so, anyway, and then this uh, this other thing, speaking about food, I thought this was fun. Well, for me, I don't know. I just little eat, like things get me excited. Uh, I love tomatoes. Like, I always make sure I have tomatoes here. Like, I love tomatoes. Tomatoes are great. Dude, there's this thing called the Topsy Turvy. I saw it like late night I've seen that dude it's phenomenal instead of having it like having to worry about having a garden and upkeeping it's like basically it's you hang it up you hang it and it grows towards the earth it's like I think I've seen it's like a planter but it's all I don't know how you do all you do is add water and you have tomatoes growing to the to the ground and you go well the tomatoes that were growing off there were looked really delicious I don't know if that's how they really grow but I thought that was really cool that is cool. Yeah, I want to buy it, but I don't have enough money for a topsy turvy. Yeah, because tomato bushes, like they grow all big, yeah, and like crazy. Yeah, dude. And I, like they grow all over the place, so yeah. something like that might be might be tight. So those are my food picks of the week. <laughs> um, and then I think I watch too much TV because every time <laughs> Shorty says yeah, every every time I'm doing something that I think is a good time. I picture that old man popping out saying, more flags, more fun. Oh. And I'm like, <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Have you seen the Magic <laughs> Magic Mountain commercial? Uh-uh. I, I, I've seen it like five thousand. One flag. Yeah, one flag. Six flags. More, more flags. fun. More fun. They have an Asian guy doing it, and then now they have that creepy old guy yeah, doing no it. Kidding. He pops out like they're doing something that's whack, and he pops out. <laughs> he's like, more flags, more fun. <laughs> I was like, oh, my gosh, this is so stupid. Oh, man. And uh, the, the the last thing is, I don't know. I've always I've always been like this. This is weird. I'm afraid to throw lighters in the trash like that are no good, hey? because I'm afraid they're gonna start a fire. Ah, hey? I know. <laughs> like yeah, that's kind of retarded. I know. I have lighters around here that don't work. The only way, okay, I don't. I am not for um, polluting the environment, 
But when I'm in my truck, I toss them out my truck in the street because I'm afraid <laughs> to throw them. Yeah, I'm afraid to throw <laughs> them. Seriously. What? What if it goes? <laughs> at least, yeah. at least Catch my a car on fire. At least my house ain't getting blown up. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm just so afraid. Maybe I watch too much TV and watch all these weird oh, things that yes, happen. Oh, you do. Probably. And hey. it's like, <laughs> dude, I'm, I'm so paranoid. You should watch um, Mythbusters. Or you should send that into Mythbusters or something. Yeah. You know what, there though? They'll say it's impossible, and I still won't throw. He won't believe it. I, I really won't. You know what's funny? They probably won't even put it on the show. Just be like, you're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're, the, you're the only person that, that believes this. <laughs> Miss is something that a large group of people believe. <laughs> You're the only person that believes. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, dude, I won't. Because I'm like, okay, there's trash in the paper. I'm like, what if something happens and it, like, kind of lights and. Oh, I, wait a minute. I got a story. I got a story. Oh, <laughs> boy. Wait. Uh, you be quiet. My turn. Anyway. <laughs> Actually, it is she just JJ's took over your segment. Well, I have a little share. Be quiet. Okay. Talk about stupid, redundant uh, things. Somebody tell me. I spit out my gum out. And so I go, no, 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 no. Don't spit your gum out. I'm going, what? Do you know if you spit out your gum, a truck will get it and they'll slide all over the place. And they truly believed it. Well, a truck will get it and slide all yeah, over the place. Yeah, they would get caught in their tires and they would just, I would cause the neck. Linda. They truly, no, they wow. truly believed it. Believe man. it or not, it was an educator. Oh, You're man. joking. No. Now that's why I'm so dumb. Our educators are dumb. I don't feel so bad. <laughs> And they I wonder why California is in the state of emergency right now. I oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Hey, one 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 last thing. Did you guys see that at at the Atlanta Hawk game? The little Michael Jackson Atlanta Hawk. Uh -uh. The nah. little the mascot. He had like Michael Jackson pants and shoes on. Oh, really? and he was moonwalking, but with a big ass hawk head. <laughs> that's awesome. He was getting down. It oh, was, that's tight. It was pretty tight. I, I saw that. So uh, I just want to say thanks for. Uh, Spending time with me, and uh, that's about <laughs> it, I guess. And this has been another great moment with JJ Diesel's Jibber Jabber. Enjoy the food picks. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what? With those food picks on um, Baskin Robbins, yeah. Over here, they have a uh, thirty-one cent scoop day. They do. Yep. I didn't know that. A thirty-one cent scoop day. That's I can actually afford that. Yeah. Depending on where you live, they also have Tuesdays free scoops. Wow. Free scoops. Yes. Yeah. One free scoop. I can afford that. Yeah, I can definitely afford that. So, yeah, check that out, basketballrobbins.com. There it is. No kidding. Oh, and I didn't see the Hawks game, but I did catch the Bulls. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. All okay. tied up. All tied up. Game very, seven in the, in, in the garden. I'm very excited. Yeah. I'm very excited. You <laughs> I'm very excited. <laughs> and, oh, and um, I'm going to hire someone to kill Rondo. <laughs> So I think Heinrich point, already did that. That's that's pretty much that. All right. Um, All right. Well, let's turn the time over to Tiny and see what other music we got for today. Yes. All right. Here, yeah, number two. Uh, the band is called Images of Armageddon, and they do metal slash death metal slash black metal uh, with a bit of mainstream sound to it as well. What? It's a lot of metal. Yeah, it's a lot of metal and mainstream. Uh, we are from Vegas and formed in March of 2009. We wrote our album in a couple weeks and put the band together the following week. Oh. Uh, yeah, I got I wish they wouldn't have said that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's okay. They're being honest. That's fine. Yeah, well, you know, some, oh. some, some people that turns out well. I know, um, uh, what the heck, what the heck is her name? Mich Michelle, uh. Poop face. That's how good she was. <laughs> no, no, no. She came out the same time as Vanessa Carlton. What was that girl? The Asian looking one? She looked like part Asian. Vanessa Carlton. Anyway, she wrote her album like in a day. Like she wrote and recorded it in like two days. That's possible? Yeah. Wow. From scratch. From scratch. Like she went into the studio and she went, she just went in, balls out. And it was good? Yeah, it was pretty good. So what? it's possible. That's amazing to me. That's it, pretty impressive. It is. Okay, then these guys had a lot more time than she did then, so yeah. maybe I, I, I can do it. Yeah, so uh, this song is called In Existence, and this is Images of Armageddon. <laughs>
of Armageddon uh, in existence and if you want to hear more uh, from these guys you can check their uh, MySpace MySpace.com uh, slash images of Armageddon and they're playing at a Battle of the Bands at Cheyenne Saloon May 21st in Vegas uh, and then they have a show the following day at Box Office at the Box Office in Las Vegas as well uh, just a quick note I want to throw in there uh, for you guys, <clears throat> for for our uh, judges here. Uh, in that band uh, is is a, a a former a former submitter to our show. Really, Taylor Hattie. Remember that guy? What the the guy with the abstract sounding type music? Yeah. Really? Could could you hear some of that in, in this song? A, a little bit. Yeah, but you know, uh, but it fit on this one. But the music yeah. was good on this one. Yeah. So let's do it. Let's do it. All right, Taylor. Nice. All right, Jekyll. Let me know what you think about it. All right. Now, look, I, I told you guys at the beginning, just from the other song, that I'm really not a fan of the yelling and the screaming. And so that's probably going to play against you just because of my own personal opinion. But I'm going to say this right now. You guys rock. And you rock, rock hard. Rock yeah. hard. Yes. You're uh, rock hard. <laughs> <laughs> I know nothing about that, but uh, I thought you told him that he was rock hard. I didn't. I no, 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 no. I say they rock hard. <laughs> oh, they're all rock hard. Nice. <laughs> Two boners <laughs> up. Hey, whatever no gets boner. you excited, my friend. Whatever gets you excited. Oh man. <clears throat> no, but but let me say this, man. Your guys's band is solid all across the board. Not a wink, link. Everybody played their instrument very well. Uh, I was impressed with the enragement. I like the change ups. Um, man, like I, I can't say anything bad really about the musicianship of this group. I thought you guys were all very solid. Um, and, and honestly, if you guys weren't yelling and doing something else over the top of it, I would probably love this song even more. Um, I'm not saying that the yelling on it is a bad thing or that. Um, yeah, because <clears throat> definitely there are people that. No, there's a lot yeah, of people. Exactly. There's a lot of people who dig it. Exactly. And so I'm not taking anything away from you because you yelled very well. <laughs> yeah, he, he did. Yeah. He, he yelled no. very well because because I've heard it before where it can sound really horrible. Yeah, he actually yelled pretty well. So you know, um, I would say for a band that got put together in two weeks, this is quite impressive. And uh, you guys need to stick together and and uh, ride this train out. Yeah, see where it goes. Definitely. All right, I guess these will <laughs> go. Uh, yeah, uh, I de- It was definitely rock. I don't know. They were like five genres of rock. They yeah. were definitely rock. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Again, pretty much. I. I. The music was phenomenal. It's, it's too bad Bob wasn't here for this. Yeah. I, w- I, w- I would like to know what he thought about this. Dirty yeah, Bob. Exactly. I would assume would have, would have dug it. I. I liked it a lot. Yeah. The singer was all right. Again, because I'm. It's not. You know what I mean. But I think that it's probably out of all the songs that I've heard like that. This is probably the best one that I've heard. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And this is not even just not not including the sh- not just only for the show just in general. Um. I felt like he was gonna like fuck a like fucking bust a vein on his neck. Like he was, yeah. he was giving it all he had. I'll give him that. Um, I liked it. I liked it when they slowed when they slowed the song down a little mm, bit too. That was dope. I really, really liked that. That was, that was probably one of my favorite parts. But yeah, I really don't have anything bad to say about the song. So, uh, Shorty. Okay, same thing. Not my type of music, but it was the intro was really interesting. 
and it made me feel like I was in a haunted house. <laughs> I, but I really yeah. liked it, you know. And I list, I liked the the mix of all the music, the different beats from hard to then it went to mellow. I really yeah. I really like that. I like that a whole lot. But like I said, um, I would yeah, I liked it. I liked it a lot. And there was, like I said, an interesting mix of music beats, and I like the ending where it kind of mellowed out a little. Yeah. yeah. I like that a lot. Very cool, very cool. Uh, Tiny? Uh, yeah, you know what? These guys pretty much said it all. Um, Taylor, like, I, I listened to your song, your uh, original submission, your first submission. I listened to it, uh, I listened to it a lot after we recorded that episode. Just because I thought there was a lot there um, under the surface, and I can hear a lot of that. You know, you you have a you have a a, a talent for arranging, I would say. And I don't know if that was you know you, but I could hear your influence in there. You know, changing up the tempo, uh, you know, and uh, just making you know weird weird different changes and stuff. I thought you guys were great as a band. Um, and that's where I'm going to leave it. You notice how I made you go last? Yeah. Because I was like, I don't want them to take everything I'm going to say. <laughs> so, <laughs> so nice. I made you go last. Yeah. Very smart. Very smart. Thank you. I felt smart about it. I guess we'll go the go the same way Jekyll's uh, what you voted as. Man, honestly, and, and it's only because I personally don't care for the yelling on the music, even though it was good. Yeah. Um, I'm only going to lie more. Otherwise, I probably would have purchased the single on iTunes. You know what? Um, I'm going to go. I think... Uh, I think I would, I think I would actually get it on iTunes, just because I don't like I don't have anything like this, and I know there's times that I would enjoy this. This isn't something I can listen to every day. This isn't something I could you know put in the truck like you know I could listen to the Peppers all day, all night, Prince all day, all night. Certain things. This is something, but there's loads of stuff I have in my collection that I don't, that I wouldn't listen to every day. But there's times I just have a feeling for it, and so I th- I know that I would want every now and then want to you know. Whether I'm in a rage or I want to kill somebody, or if I just want to, I don't know. If Dirty Bob comes down, you know, <laughs> look at this, buddy. You know, I'll back a couple of <clears throat> Yeah, I just, I just feel like I can, that I can definitely uh, utilize this. Mm-hmm. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna get it on uh, iTunes, Shorty. Okay, it, like I said, it wasn't really my kind of music, but if it was on the radio, I wouldn't change it. I'd listen to it. Nice. Uh, all right. Yeah, and uh, for me, I would LimeWire. Uh, for probably the exact same reasons as Jekyll. Jekyll's. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, that's fair. Yeah. I think I think you know what it is, Jack. Yeah, it's pretty much it's lime wireable, yep. which is which is a great rating. Yeah, you know uh, it's a lot better than the first rating you got, Taylor. So congrats on that. And, and honestly, um, it's not to take anything away from your band. Your band rocks. Like you guys, you guys are off the hook. Absolutely. Like if it was pure instrumental, I would have bought the album. Because oh, the band yeah, no, played that well. Right. Yeah. I felt they played that well, and I enjoyed the music that much. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's just people's opinions. Some people aren't down with the with the yelling, but I know there's a huge market for it out there, and sure. there's going to be a lot of people that are going to feel and love you guys. So keep yeah, doing and, it. Yeah, and you guys, you guys, you know, maybe you guys aren't going for this approach, the mainstream, but if you guys just had, like, a regular vocalist on that exact same song, that song would be tough. Would Main, be mainstream really, too. You, you'd be able you know, to. Yeah, and you'd get a lot more mainstream. I don't know if you guys are going for that, and you know, if you're not, then that's fine. What, what's that? What's that? There's a group right now that's really popular where the guy wears that mask and stuff. I think they're called Slayer or something like that. Or Slipknot. 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 Doesn't that guy yell on his music? I thought you made like it was new. I was like, no, 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 no. But but doesn't he yell like that on his songs? Um, I thought that, I thought they I think they yeah they do some I, I think they do some devil tracks too not devil like they're right like but Satan, but they but, I mean, but they, they yell on the tracks t- and that gets airplay all the time on like K Rock and stuff that's actually a mainstream type Ex- group with this type of sound I don't think that those songs are on the air oh okay yeah I, I you know what know, I'm saying yeah. Uh, yeah I've known a couple people that 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 like Slipknot I yeah. personally never got into them. But I mean, I, I understand the appeal though. Like, it, I'm not like nobody. What? Well, who the fuck would like this? Like, we right. it's it's obvious. We know that people dig this kind of music. Absolutely. So I think, and I also think that that, that this is a really good rating from four people. That this none of this is is really. You know, we're gonna. It's just it's just human nature. We're gonna run into music that isn't something that we listen to a lot because I think we're pretty well versed and we listen to lots of kind like different kinds of music. And you're gonna run into music, or we're gonna run into music that necessarily isn't always really our cup of tea 
But if, if it's a really, really good song, yeah. yeah, a good song's a good song. Yeah, good is good. So I, I think, to me, I think that they got a phenomenal vote or a phenomenal um, outcome from us considering that, yeah. you know. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, none of us really bumped this stuff. Yeah. So that, that's awesome. All right, well, let's go ahead and have a little time now with little, 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 little. No. <laughs> Steven. It's not here. I thought you were going to say little, little, little Jekylls. That's what I thought, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought you were going to say. Jekylls ain't little. <laughs> no. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to have a little segment that I'm going to call Jekylls Knows Best. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Jekylls Knows Best. Now, uh, what I'm about to talk to you about is for all those artists out there that are trying to get to the point of signing contracts for either management or label purposes. Okay. Um, I spent the last three hours last night going over contracts with my group and having a pretty interesting meeting. Now, what I'm going to tell you are things you should look for in your contracts that you should never sign yes to, which is pretty much about 70% of the contract that we saw yesterday as we sat down as a group. I'm sitting here reading this piece of garbage oh, really? that this guy handed me and the first thing that catches my eye is he wants us to sign all the masters over to him <gasps> What? as oh, yeah. a manager okay artists out there never ever ever sign your masters over to anybody you want to always be able to hold on to your own masters otherwise you're going to get screwed out of royalties and rights for those songs as time goes on, and just, you do not want that ever to happen. Yeah, just watch a Dr. Dre behind the music. <laughs> oh, really? What what happened there? It, it was uh, Shook, Shook yeah. came to his house oh, with a right. baseball bat and said, "Give me all your masters." Punked him. Yep, Dre got punked. Wow, poor Dre, poor Dre. You poor guy. Yeah, you poor guy getting a hundred yeah, grand yeah. for one beat. You I poor know, dude. You poor guy <sighs> creating headphones that only you can afford to buy. <laughs> poor guy. <laughs> oh, He's got it bad. <laughs> okay. So that's number one. Number two, never sign any paperwork where your manager wants complete power of attorney over you. Oh, my no, no, gosh. No. That is the most stupid, ridiculous thing that you could ever do. Because when you sign over your power of attorney, that means all of a sudden he is you. He can sign your name to any piece of legal document that he wants to at any time. And that, my friends, is called foolishness. Foolishness. You do not want to do that. This guy wanted the power of eternity over the entire group. Wow. Yeah. Jerk so, off. So you could be you could be in China doing a show, and next thing you know, you come home and he's like, oh, I signed you up to do this, this, and this. Well, we're in China. How are we supposed to do that? I don't know. Figure it out. Yeah. Wow. And by the way, I emptied out all your bank accounts and put oh, it here. Oh, not only that. Here's another thing. Do not let him handle all your money. This guy wanted all monies that came in for the group to be sent directly to him so that we don't see it what? and then sent to his accountants yeah right so that they disperse it properly of course he gets his 25% cut 3 days after the money is brought in when do we see ours it never stipulates oh <laughs> yeah it doesn't say when we're going to get our cut it says we're going to get our receipts weekly yeah that's, that's, <laughs> well that's that's actually not too bad because that's how a lot of people do it. I mean, all all the, the shows will go into somewhere. They'll run it through their books and then and then give it back to you. Right. That, well, that's not too bad, but, I yeah, I understand but your, I think your nervousness. The, I think the main thing was that it was in the contract said when he was going to get paid, but it never said when right. you guys were going to get paid. Exactly. It yeah. never said when the artists themselves were going to get paid. And we never know how much money is coming in because we never really see it. They could be creating their own receipts. Definitely. They could be, you know, Definitely. and and that's that's something that would concern me as an artist. So if you yeah. see that, maybe talk about that with your future manager before you sign a piece of paper, and always read through the whole thing because there were things in fine print that are very interesting. Like one, everything there was irrevocably in place. He put the word irrevocably, which means it cannot be reversed. Later, he had another point that was in caps that said, "No, this one, this one was very interesting." Said. Any verbal or written agreements outside of this contract do not count. Basically, like, he could tell you, oh, I'm going to change this and this, just sign this other paper, and he never has to change it because he already said it in the contract that you just signed that anything he says outside of that you sign or verbally agree to is null and void. What? Exactly. And then he also said this in the contract. If you take this to a court 
and a court finds this to be unlawful, the court cannot overturn it. What? They cannot overturn it because you have hereby signed this document and agreed to everything that's in well, it. Well, then they couldn't find it unlawful then. If they found it unlawful, well, then it would be... Well, no, I mean, if, if the court's saying, look, dude, this guy's ripping you off and what he's doing is illegal, it doesn't matter because you've signed the contract now and you're stuck to it. Please. Wait, I don't get that. They, I don't think that a judge would ever say what he's doing is illegal, but I can't get him. Uh, that that I mean, if it's in the contract that it says well, that, then it's not illegal though. Well, yeah, because <laughs> you signed it. That's yeah. true. It makes it un- illegal, but yeah. I mean, ju- he, he could say. Words, in other words, you could take that contract to court, and nothing in there can be ever be reversed. Is what I'm trying. He to could get say at. you got done dirty, but I don't think he's gonna be like. Well, he can't change it. Yeah. So please read your contracts through clearly. If you know some paralegals or have lawyers in the family or friends who know lawyers. Have them read over your contracts. It's very important that you go through everything before you sign to something because it can it can really hurt you in the long run. So did you sign the contract then? No, we didn't. <laughs> we did not sign it. We're going to go He's back like, yeah, to we him just signed and, it. Uh, we're going to take we're it fucked. back to this guy, throw it in his face and say, look, you need to change this, 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 and this, or we're not signing anything because what he was asking for was pretty, pretty ridiculous. And artists out there, pretty much your first contract, everybody out there is going to try to screw you. Yep. That's just a heads up. You're going to get screwed your first contract. Yep. It's just whether or not you get screwed a lot or a little. So yep. be smart about it. Study up. Know what you need to know. And this has been Jekyll's Knows Best. Looking out for the artist back. Yeah. Yeah, like one book I would recommend is uh, All You Need to Know About the Music Business by Donald Passman. Um, yeah, definitely go check that. And he, I think he updates it like every year, every couple of years. So it's always current, even though the information there uh, – a lot of it's been in there for a while. Uh, go check that out and uh, check out. Yeah, just try to find as much information as you can. There's a lot of information on the web um, regarding contracts, uh, music contracts. Futureproducers.com has a lot of uh, leads where you can go check out that stuff too. So, all right. Thank you. Good Definitely. say. Thank you. So let's turn it back over to Tiny and let's listen to some artists. Yes, that are about to get screwed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this group is called uh, Good Night Goddess out of Austin, Texas, and they do rock music. Good Night Goddess is comprised of former members of Austin bands Squares Are Best and Slider. The debut album Lollipops and Suicides was self released. February 2009 and is distributed digitally through TuneCore.com and available at many major digital outlets including iTunes. Physical copies of the album are available by contacting the band at their website goodnightgoddess.com. Alright. The song is entitled As the Sunflower Turns on Her God. Hmm. Hmm. Dreams of a sky that's
was good night goddess as the sunflower turns on her god and if you want to check out more of their stuff you can go to goodnightgoddess.com you can check them out on myspace myspace.com slash goodnightgoddess all one word um, or if you want to contact them for anything email michael ellen kolb at band at goodnightgoddess.com and if you are in uh, Dallas and want to check them out, May 16th, uh, Club Dada. At, uh, they're going to perform at the Strong Arm Music Festival. All right, let's do it. All right, I guess do I'll it. go first. I said do it. Let, let's do it. I'm retarded. How, how do you do it then? <laughs> 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 uh, I, I'm sure Jekyll's heard other stuff than what I did, but the very beginning like reminded me of, like uh, of Asia from Nico Vega. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I, I really liked her voice. Um, I thought she sang really good. I liked it when she started yelling. Like, um, I really had no issue with her voice at all. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, I thought the music was. I really. I did like the music. Um, and then uh, I don't know if the the drums like when he was hitting the cymbals kind of. It sounded kind of weird to me like it didn't really it sounded off to me i don't know why it just it didn't hmm. i don't know I, i'm not saying that he fell off beat but it just sounded like it didn't really go for me like it was like like it just i don't know does that make sense of what i'm saying like i mean not if you that you agree with it but i mean uh well i didn't hear it but i didn't hear you but i kind of understand what you're saying and yeah so that 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 part like like i didn't have a problem with the drummer the guitars or anything like that um, but that's that's pretty much that that's the that's what bugged me about it. I didn't mind it when it got rough and raw and you know at all. I just thought they added. A, I just thought it there was a lot of really good elements uh, to that um, to that song, and that was pretty much the main thing that I didn't really care for. So, uh, Chekos. All right, I don't know what it is, but this show today is just bringing out the white boy in me. Nice. <laughs> I, I my goodness, you guys blew me away. Like the recording was excellent, yes. so clean, so clear all the way through. Thank you so much for sending us a very good recording. This was the best recording we've best had all day. Re yes, best recording we've had all day, no doubt. Yeah. Um, man, I didn't know where you guys were gonna take it, but you took me on a trip, and I loved it. I loved all the change-ups. Man, just uh, between the two guitarists, how you guys would overlay each other, and the bass would come in so hard with that just that thumping bass line. This this song was great to me. The female, after a while, started reminding me of a group that I really, really like. And I want to say she's like the, um, I'm going to get his name messed up. I know I am. But she is like the female Serge, uh, Serge, what's his last name? Save or something like that. The guy from, uh, the lead singer from System of a Down. Oh, I know who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. That, that guy. The, the bald guy. A Serge lot of Tarkanian. Tarkanian, thank you. I it's something like that. I, I don't, I I don't that think up. that's yeah. right. <laughs> I mean, it, it's something like that. But anyways, I'm a huge fan. A lot of people don't know this, but I'm a huge System of a Down fan. A huge fan? <laughs> yeah. A huge A huge. No, I'm a huge System of a Down fan. I really like what they do. And your music was very similar to that. Girl, you have pipes. Yeah. You can sing. Yep. You, I was blown away. Really, I was. Um, I love, I love this song. I, I would... Uh, I know Joe always says this, but this is one that I would really love to see live. Oh, like, heck I just yeah. think they would just yeah, definitely beat that stage up. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? I, I just think that. And, and it, maybe it's because, again, because I've seen Nick Nico Vega live, and, and maybe I'm comparing, like, maybe she'll be like that or have that kind of energy. And if she does, the show's over. It's going to be ridiculous. Well, you could just hear the energy in the song. The yeah. song got you so excited and so amped. That I was the like one it. thing that set this song apart was how much energy the lead singer brought out yeah. in the music. Because oh, yeah. that was the strongest lead singer we heard today, and it really, really lifted the song, just took it yeah. to that next level. Agreed. Tiny? Uh, yeah, I thought uh, the lead singer was good. I think, uh, you know, Russian Russian band, what were they called, Broadside? Take take some notes from this girl, because uh, I, think, I think this is the kind of the sound you want. Um, my only problem with the the lead singer was the yelling part. I mean, yeah, I didn't think she needed to do that either. Nico, when when the girlfriend when Asia from Nico Vega yells, at least it's like a musical yell. Mm -hmm. Like this girl, to me, she was just like yelling, and it didn't like she. It just sounded like she was yelling just to yell. Okay. And it and it didn't have any 
musicality to the yell. It was just like a, rah, 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 you know, <laughs> and so and so that for me personally, that that just doesn't work for me. And I know, like I said with the last group, I know, um, you know, y- you're gonna find a lot of people that really dig that, and right. that's cool. But uh, but that's you know just for me personally, that's where I'm at. I thought the band was solid. Was yeah, was yeah. solid. I thought you guys were tight. Um, you know, diddling pretty much everything. Jekylls and the D's, um, you know, big you up on. I, I want to big you up on the same thing. Uh, for me though, the actual song, I really couldn't get into it. The oh, really? song wow. itself, okay. Like the mus- the musicianship was great. Yeah. Like as a band, you guys are awesome. The song itself, I just, I really couldn't get into it for for some reason or another, and I'm I can't really, you know, put my finger on why, but there's something about it that just I I couldn't I didn't appreciate it I guess as much as these other guys did, hmm. but I think you guys are great. I think you guys would be great live. Um, so if you guys ever come out to L.A., you gotta uh, hit us up and let us know where you're gonna be at. Oh yeah. And uh, that's pretty much where I'm gonna leave it. All right, Shorty. Okay, um, the guitar. I really enjoyed the guitars and the drums. That was really neat. Uh, the vocals. It was good until you started to scream. You lost my interest. But on the other hand, like the others have said, live, I could, you can really get into it. I, I'd like to see you live. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, is that where you're at? That's where I'm at. Yeah, the music was really good. The music yeah. was phenomenal. Um, I guess although I'd buy the album. Um, nice Jekylls nice. um, You know what Your yelling wasn't All the way through the song And the fact that you could sing Really well For me kind of saved the yelling Yeah I'm buying this album Oh, oh man. man I hardly ever give that out yeah, that's true. I'm buying this album You guys are hot Nice Alright Tiny <laughs> You guys are gonna think I'm a punk then. No not at all <laughs> no, I, I'm expecting a live wire ball Are you gonna radio it No well I, I was gonna radio it But because oh. of musicianship the caliber of musicianship was so high. I'm gonna bump that up to a lime wire bowl. Nice. Okay. Uh, but just because the song did really didn't do it for me, the song itself. Okay. All right, Shorty, what you voted okay, in? Okay, I'm gonna radio it, but only for the fact that I could listen to it with somebody who bought the album. <laughs> oh <laughs> wow! Sorry, we we hurt you guys. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's why. That's why. Wow. That's, yeah. Okay. That's why. Okay. Uh, what if you didn't know any of us? What if you never saw us outside the show? What would you vote it as? Well, um, iTunes. iTunes. The, oh, then iTunes? That's, then that's what it should be then. Oh, that's pretty good. Then that's what it should be. Yeah. Okay. iTunes. Hey, oh, man. I like it. That's Damn. pretty good. So, wow. Wait, wait. So, we have a LimeWire and iTunes and two buy the albums. I'm going to say that's, I'm going to buy the album minus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh man. That, that, is, that is phenomenal. So, you're you're right on the hair of just being iTunable. You're right on the borderline being iTunable or buying the album. I'm gonna give you the buy the album minus. And 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 because uh, because your overall rating would would be buy the album, um, you get a special treat. Yep. Oh, We have been waiting uh. so long. <laughs> we have been waiting so long in the show to play that song for the right reason. And yeah, we yeah. finally got to. You Actually, see, yeah, we played it once when we you weren't here. Once you weren't here. As oh. far as we're a deserved one. But oh, all, okay. the, all the other ones were just to piss you off. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so finally, much. this is your first real one. This up. is my first real one. I'm kind of pissed about it. So congratulations. Uh. You guys are the best. All right, <laughs> that's tight. Uh, I feel so, I feel so good right now. I, I don't know. know why. I know, me too. I, I feel pumped up. I'm gonna go learn karate. Oh, man, I'm so excited. <laughs> Come on, man. What other show gives you your own theme music when you have oh, a great song? That is, know. that was hot. Only us. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> Pat Morita and Ralph Macchio send their regards. <laughs> no, they wrote the song. And, El- and Elizabeth Shue. And Elizabeth Shue. Oh, she's mm, delicious. I know. <laughs> Delicioso. Oh, wow. All right. Well, uh, thank you very much for listening to the show. If you enjoyed any of the artists that you heard today or would like to find out more information about them, hit us up on nobodycareshow.com and, uh, you know, check out the page, see what's going on there. Artists, please email us at Nobody cares show at gmail.com if you're interested in being on the show, and we'll make sure to get you the information that you need so that you can be a 
part of this great show. That, that was we have. perfect. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you did it right now. I this did is it the right. first time you did it right. <laughs> this is right. Awesome. I, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm trying to step up my game. He very deserves good, the best around. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Great, great job, Jekos. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, little Joe? I'm the best around. <laughs> yes. I right, know. Jekos doesn't have to play it off of his phone. Yeah. <laughs> I get it paid for me. <laughs> nice. no, uh, I am going to put out a special request, though. Okay. It seems like lately a lot of the shows that we've been doing have been mostly rock artists. So I'm going to shout out to other artists to get involved in the game. We've had a lot of hip-hop artists, a lot of uh, rock artists, but I want to try to get some more types of music out there, too. I would love to hear some reggae some reggae bands. Please, reggae bands, you know, send us your music. Does uh, Bob Marley still make music? <laughs> Just kidding. His uh, sons do. His sons do. Just kidding. His children. Uh, His children. Some, some more R and B bands would children. be great. Even yeah. um. Shout even, out you know, to Jerome some, Perry. Some pop music, some you know pop ballads, whatever you know, just some send electro us something. pop. You, you know what? What you're saying is right. You're 100 percent right. But I will take any fucking music that's new. No, <laughs> no. You know what? And, yeah. and and I totally agree with that. I just I just want there to be more of a variety in so that we could hear a little bit of everything. Oh, and, and you know what else? I got to uh, who's playing the C Blunt again? Shout out to C Blunt, that's still right. the man. C Blunt, hey, still the man. Hey, I came in. Um, just early so I can do the little the very big the very beginning and he thought I did it so good yeah. he thought that me, it was, was it? you make me weak in the knees I was like yeah. he thought it was he blunt it did yeah. it so was, good I was like wow he came in early and then he's like did you like that and I was like oh that was you <laughs> <laughs> that's bad huh that's awesome that was tight uh, so anyways check us out we're all over the place YouTube Snap Vine MySpace Twitter um, Facebook am I forgetting anything what, what else no, am you I said Snap Vine right I said Snap Vine. Yes. Yeah, Leave vine. us a message. You guys heard this uh this show we got well actually that's our that's our girl Diana who always takes care of us. But I mean uh you guys should just make sure uh no wait, I didn't mean like sexually. I just meant like she takes <laughs> like <laughs> you know, I, I didn't mean like that. I just meant like, you know, like she's our girl, like she's our buddy, the show buddy. That's what there, I'm trying to go, say. Stop hoping. Stop yeah. hoping. I know, Jay. Damn it. <laughs> Such a loser. <laughs> You're a loser. Such a loser. <laughs> but no, just leave us uh leave us a message and uh we'll get you we'll get your uh your little message uh, heard on the show and you know, you might be a star like us. <laughs> you know? Most definitely. And as always, shouts out to Old Squared Entertainment and Hansi and the Boys Productions. And Little Joe, yes, we miss you, bro. Good luck with that fishing. And uh, <clears throat> today, because we had a best around, uh, our outro music, we're going to follow suit with the last best around. And we're going to play uh, that song again for our outro. Nice. I love it. All right. So you guys enjoy <laughs> it. Good night, goddess. You guys deserve it. Yeah. Um, so here it goes. Yes. Uh, Nobody cares show nice. is the best around. Nice. I love this song, man. This song is really Yeah. She, she sounds like a pissed off Atlantis Moore set. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was thinking too. Kind of Atlantis ish. Yeah. You but you better. Think she sounds like a female version of Surge. No, I, no, I hear that. I hear that. You, you know what? Honestly, I'm not a big fan of System of a Down. Really? Um, I don't. Everyone it seemed like everyone loved them for a minute, but I, I never, like, I don't hate them. Yeah. But it just really doesn't. For some, like, I get why people dig them. I do, but right. I, it's never been. I like these these guys way better. Oh, these guys are hot. Man. She can sing, man. She doesn't yeah. need to yell. She's got great vocals. Then again, you're gonna get some people that are like, keep that yelling in there. That's true. You know, I like it when the guy yells behind her and she's singing on top of it. Yeah. That's a cool mixture. Yeah, that sounds really cool. Shout out to Monster Matt. Shout out to uh, Hulk Cold Red. Yeah, Enlighten the Brainchild or Cheeseburglar, whatever your name is. Shout yeah. out to If Then. Yes, If Then. Thank you again. Yeah, PowerStripCircus.com. Check it out. Shout out to Duck Alert. Send me a beat. Duck Alert. Duck Alert on the beak. Duck Alert on the beak. <laughs> Duck Alert. <laughs> I'll make you weak. Yeah. Uh. Thank you, Shorty, for being on the show. Thank you. You're very, very welcome. Thank, Thank you, you for inviting me back. No doubt. Most definitely. All right. Peace. Good night. Peace.